started it over on on Wednesday night with student of the game last week. But you know what time it is. Full time, everybody. It is the weekly power ranking segment brought to you by our one, by our only. Thank goodness it is the only Eagles Jaworski Christian. As we uh, as we will do, we will start by looking at his bottom five. Remember to look on the right side of the screen. EJ, give us your bottom five. All right, 28. Hate to do it, man, but 28, the Bengals, 29, the Giants, 30, the Panthers, 31, the Jags, and 32, the Titans. All the right. Bengals, you know what's funny? The Bengals own three. I get it. They probably should be down here. They don't feel like an own three team. I, I feel like they can turn things around. I thought Joe Burrow looked great last night. I, I don't know, man, but <laughs> the other four teams are obvious. Jaguars are, the Jaguars are the one in front of the biggest shock here. Like, what the hell is that going on in Jacksonville right now? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, the, the Jaguars have what the fuck a lot of problems. <laughs> a lot of problems. Uh, the Bengals, I mean, it, it's – they're, they're bad defensively, and I don't think I'm saying yeah. anything out of turn um, with Mike. We'll we'll see some of ours on the screen here in a little bit after we get your top ten, EJ. Yeah, I um, I, 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 I think. Them, but, sorry, go ahead. Can but I, uh, can I ask? Can I ask the screwdriver a question? Go ahead. Where the hell are the Miami Dolphins? That would be my only move. I might put yeah. the Dolphins on on a bump off the Bengals just because there's no direction without. The, it, it was considered. It was considered. It really was. Because the quarterback situation. I but. mean, I'll take zero and three with Joe Burrow over one and two with Skylar Thompson. And for the record, spoiler alert: I have the Bengals in my bottom five. Um, yeah. But where, like, like, there's nothing there. I mean, you have the greatest wide receiver in the NFL, according to every analyst that you listen to on every pregame show and postgame show, in Tyree Hill, and he was. Lost. I know. I know. You know, and I and I struggle. I, I told Jim this on text like, like this morning. Like I struggle with this because um the, the only reason I even put the Bengals in the bottom five, honestly, at 0 3 is because it's not that they're 0 3. It's two losses at home to the Patriots and the Commanders. Now we'll see more in the weeks to come if the Commanders really are better than we think they are, but to me, right now in the three week sample, it's, it's those are two bad losses for, what did, for okay, but what did both of those teams do? Run the damn ball. I get what they did, but the reality, I, okay, is, so, I, the, the reality is I look at the Bengals as, as a Super Bowl contending team. And well, that's a two, problem. That's two bad losses, man. I, I mean, that's. Well, it, I mean, they didn't lose to anybody that's currently residing in your bottom five. So obviously it isn't that bad. Right. But, you know, yeah, bottom, you, you, look, uh, you, know you got them on five, two also. So c- clearly sure, I absolutely do. But it's yeah. because of I'm telling you that they cannot stop the run. They held Patrick Mahomes last week to the worst passing game of his career, and they cannot stop the run. The secondary is not the issue. Sure, does it look bad on the last drive where Kerry McLaurin catches a great pass from um, Jaden Daniels. Daniels? Sure, it looks <clears throat> awful, but let's talk about that. Where's Cam Taylor-Britt, the best cover corner they have? He's on the other side of the field on someone that isn't the best receiver that Washington has. It's so a defensive then, problem, just like Jim said. So then what do we argue here? Are the Dolphins be here with them? So if the Dolphins down here with you, well, I guess we'll see yours in a second. So Correct. We'll, I'm we'll, not going to spoil anymore. Yeah, we'll wait. wait till we yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I forgot about the Dolphins and mine. We'll see mine in a minute as well. I, I, I think the hard thing with building the – I think it would have been easier to build a top five, bottom ten. Yeah. <laughs> and it would have been to build yeah. a top ten, yeah. bottom five because I think yeah. there's a lot of bad yeah, that's, teams. that's probably true. Like yeah. there's a lot of bad teams right now. There's a there's a couple teams that I think are really good, and then there's like this there's like a pocket of teams that, like they they might be good. They stumbled out of the gate. Yeah, we don't know if they're good. We don't know if they're actually bad. It's because it's also because we're only three weeks into the year and teams don't play preseason anymore. A lot of these things haven't shaken themselves out yet. So, um, the, the, these first ones are obviously always a, a little bit more volatile. Um, than uh, than the other ones, but EJ, give us your top yeah. ten, and, and then we'll dig and, into it. And, we, and week three was just a f- weird week in general. Lots of anomalies. Anyway, top ten, ten to one. Here we go. Number ten, the New York Jets. 
Uh, number nine, the Green Bay Packers. The eight, the Seahawks. Number seven, the Texans. Six, Steelers. Five, Eagles. Four, Lions. Three, Vikings. Two, Bills. And one, the Chiefs. I I almost pulled the trigger on, on, on swapping one and two. I almost did. You should have. I yeah. almost did. <laughs> you should have. Uh, but you that, know. that was impressive. Who do you trust? You know, we, we, that, that, we, that's we, why we, we know we, the we know the dumb game you play. You already know how, how you, it's already baked into the show. You know that already. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, it's, 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 sound bite. What's that? Yeah, it's a Joker, Joker sound bite. Joker sound bite. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Um, yeah, we, 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 we know how that works for you. Uh, we're, we're not, we're not changing anything. It's I'll the name a- of the show. We yeah. know it's in green, <laughs> bud. <laughs> um, we'll put up, you'll, you'll see, we're not going to go over them like we did, uh, with Kyle last week. You can see mine, you can see Mike's, you can see Sean's there. Um, so, so there's, at least there's, there's a few things that are kind of starting to come together. Um, when you look at the top of these, um, bills near the top Vikings in the top five, um, across the board for us, um, Lions uh, in it for for most. Um, you know that 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 four to ten range. There's a lot of the sim, a lot of the same teams jumbled around. Yeah, wow, Bills, Chiefs, Vikings. Hold on, can I can I come real quick? Straight across. I, I am stunned at the bottom five right now. Um, that Jim and Mike do not have the Giants in there at all. That's um, stunning to me right now. Look, you're hopping on that Danny Dimes train. No, 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 I'm not. But let's let's talk about it. The Titans are god awful. Yes. The Jaguars They're got boat bad. raced. Yes. Uh, the we Carolina Panthers are the Carolina Panthers. Um, Danny Dimes is Malik Neighbors greater than Skylar Thompson with any weapon that the Miami Dolphins have currently. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the Cincinnati Bengals are 0-3. And in your words, lost two games that they should have won. At some point, there has to be a penalty there. You probably would not have predicted them to go in and beat the greatest quarterback of all time in Deshaun Watson who's having a career resurrection is going to take Cleveland to the playoffs. Um, you know, so yeah. at that point, I'm using your words. Uh, I'm going to take the Giants out because so I'm the only one that left Super the Bowl Bengals contender. out. Yeah, you left the Bengals out. I mean, I don't want you mad at me. You, 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 you have, have a, almost a very similar bottom five. Uh, honest, I'm honestly, I'm, mad. I'm just giving you the, uh, I'm giving you the sell. Right. Honestly, reconsidering it, I, I probably would have pulled the Bengals out and put the Dolphins in there. Me too. Honestly, um, I, I would have also. That's that, that, that's kind of a bad on my part. Um, I think it's because in like I I didn't to, to, kind of to EJ's point it, it was I I had kind of loftier goals for the Bengals going yeah. into this year. Um I think, I think, I think we all I know did, you did. I think, I think I we all did. Well, Mike. Um but like I I had loftier goals for the Bengals so the fact that they are 0 3, the fact that they have lost to the Commanders and to the Patriots and that seemingly and trust me i I'm, i say this respectfully because i understand what it looks like having no answers when it when it comes to stopping a team from running the football Correct. um like th- th- those are those are alarming trends obviously you know we know that the quarterback situation uh with miami is an alarming trend but uh, maybe they're going to make a call to the to uh, Pittsburgh. Hey, you got a quarterback you can send me? Um, well, so we do. I, I said last week, what, Wilson should be um, an option. What, so he can die behind that offensive line next? Because that guy can't run for his life. I said, let, let me be very clear on why the Bengals aren't in and the Patriots are. Uh, is just uh, the Patriots may have, they came out and kind of shocked the world and they were like, oh, maybe they're actually good. And they're not. No. Like, they're not, they're, they're, they're not fooling anybody. And that loss to the New York Giants or to the New York Jets was absolutely embarrassing football by the new England Patriots. Um, I'm more in the realm of like kind of where, where, uh, where EJ was that the Bengals are on the rise that like, even though they're 0 and three, they have these bad law. I, I feel like the offense is finally healthy, right. Um, you know, whereas I mean the teams that I included now, keep in mind while the dolphins don't have life and while they were a very close to being in the bottom five, uh, there's some other warning teams. There's teams on the warning list, mm-hmm. and there's teams down here. You know, I would argue that if the Panthers come out and win this week, that they're going to shoot right out of here for me. Oh, yeah. I'd, give, I'd probably say the same for the Giants. If the Giants want to come out and do something amazing, I will probably find two teams worse than them. You know, like I, I, I will start to work them up because the Dolphins well, are right there for me. I think the Browns are in danger of being Owen, here. Owen the Broncos for Cincinnati the that- out west. Um, and the Cincinnati NFC losing. West has three teams that are starting, you know, with injuries in San Francisco, with a fading Rams hopes, with the Arizona Cardinals proving that despite Marvin Harrison, they are still the Cardinals. 
uh, all three of those teams on danger of being here in the next two to three weeks. So, so there's a lot of teams, yeah. not to mention um, – Big Jim's Cowboys are, are getting closer. They're 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 creeping down. They lose this week, they'll probably. Well, be. If they lose it. And they, the yeah, Bears are York bad. It. I I don't think the Bears are good. So like, there's a lot. You of you, you had no last week, Sean. I know. Right. Just a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and see, that was my point. It'd be a hell of a and, lot. And it wasn't year. that they showed me anything. It's just other teams showed me even less, and I was right. just that, like, that's, okay, that's, you're in. That's kind of and my point. Is we're still it shaking been... the rubble to the bottom. Is what we're doing. Is it would have been a hell of a lot easier to make a a, a top five and a bottom ten? Oh, I could have got you ten. Um, for sure. And, and yeah. so to the reason I don't have the giants in mind is because look, I, I, I don't, I don't know that a win over the Browns. And again, I say this respectfully, cause it's the only one my Cowboys have, um, is a win over the Browns is, is not like it's something that impressive. Um, but the giants did the giants did the thing that they, if they want to have any, anything that resembles success and by success, I mean like four plus one, um, is, Get get the ball in the hands of your best best playmakers. Get the ball to neighbors. Get get the ball in the hands of Devin Singletary. There's a reason you like when you lost Barkley. Obviously, you're taking a hit. Devin Singletary is not Saquon Barkley. So before anybody thinks I'm trying to say that, that is not what I'm saying. But he is he 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 looks good. He looks focused. Um, you know, in 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 the early going this year. So get him the ball. Basically, get the ball out of Danny Dimes' hands. That that that's that's going to be a great place to start. They did that on Sunday. Um, the Browns, obviously, ending up in, in in my bottom five, are absolutely atrocious um, and and nowhere near uh, a playoff contender. Staring at you, EJ. Um, and, and they, 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 that <laughs> clearly, <team's>, clearly, <laughs> that team's bad. Uh, yeah, the Jags, it's Titans, really, really bad. Um, yeah, it's it's the, the there's no life in Tennessee. No, not at all. None. Not at all. That's they, which is weird. God, like, they they should just call Ryan Tannehill. I'm sorry. I was. I don't think here. Ryan says yes. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't either. <laughs> shit. No. Um, shit. I don't want to die out there. It's weird because Teddy. Hell, hell Tennessee. Miami should probably call him. <laughs> yeah. Well, they, they should. I don't think he's saying yes because word out of his camp is he wants to go somewhere where he could potentially start the rest of the season, and with the like because two is wanting to come back and not wanting to like he's. Right. He's holding off because he wants to see if there's a chance that that, that sure. develops. I think so he wants what, to make a playoff run is what he wants to do. So when the Miami Dolphins trade for Matthew Stafford in like a week and a half or two and he can start in L.A. the rest of the year over Stetson Bennett and Matt Stafford potentially tries to lead the Dolphins to a playoff spot because there's no reason why Tua should play quarterback again the rest of this season. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, I think if, if the Rams are in trouble and the injuries are still bad and the rec- if their record's bad, I don't know that he goes there either. I think he wants a chance to be yeah, it. I, I think his he's perfect gonna come call back. is with like five weeks to go on a team that's probably in a playoff spot. I think that's what he wants. Yeah, most likely. Um, looking flag. at looking at the top ten and EJ's top ten, um, does anything stick out uh, to anybody that that they they think is is crazy? Besides um, Malik the being ahead of the Bills, Malik Willis and the Green Bay Packers being in the top ten. Um, yeah, that's... Over, over, over the Saints, over, yeah, basically over the Saints, even over the Buccaneers. Yeah, I think that's kind of wild. Say, Mike, do you have the Saints? But you do at ten. All I right. do. I have them at ten. That Saints loss. That Saints loss on on some of the bad, 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 fraudulent yeah. loss. Fraud. They yeah, lost I don't, to. I don't know they they lost to a top again. five team. Right of yours. No, they lost to a top five team that that, that was missing with two receivers. They both okay. lost. You still, the same. Been, you still have them in top five, though. <laughs> they Again, lost they... to the same team. Wait, wait, one wait, of them wait. lost in Rio. The other one lost in New Orleans. I'd like to. I'd like to make fun of my own because I have the Seahawks at four. I'd like to make fun of them. <laughs> that's yeah, way that's too high. That's yeah, I think I, I, I think I just was like, well, they're undefeated, and I don't know how much I like these other teams behind. I knew yeah. I didn't like the Steelers undefeated. Not I knew I, I knew you knocked the Texas bad at the last week. You put them number one last week, Sean. Yeah, I yeah, mean, I'm surprised things have fallen apart. They're going to move high. back into the top five at some point for me. Like, no, yeah, no it makes sense why way. Jim and Mike have the Steelers low, but I was... maybe I put the Seahawks as high as I did just so okay. they could fall from grace. To, maybe, maybe to, that's where I'm at. To be fair, uh, I have the we'll Pittsburgh. I have the Pittsburgh Steelers where I do because um, none of the games have felt overly impressive. Um, 
all field goals against uh, Perk Thuggins and the Falcons week one. That <laughs> offense ain't doing anything. Uh, they beat a team quarterback by Bo Nix scoring a total of 13 points. Um, and up until the point uh, where the Denver Broncos you, up and until the point where Justin Herbert re aggravated his high ankle sprain, they were losing that game. Um, I'm not impressed. They're inevitably going to go into a portion of no, the schedule where they're rolling a defense right now. Like they're fielding a defense and nothing else. Correct. Doing. And, and it's inevitably going to catch up to them to where the defense is going to not be able to hold a team to seven points. Yeah. Uh, well, I figured I'm going to hold them in that five to eight range while they're undefeated. And as soon as they're not, they're going to fall off the top 10. That's pretty much where I'm at. I'm going to let their defense hang in my top 10. They, the they, they feel like a, away. they feel more fraudulent at three and O than like Seattle does. Who, uh, P- Pittsburgh? Yes. Oh, absolutely. In I my opinion, so Pittsburgh is the Pitt- worst. More than the Seattle. Uh, I, 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 I don't think it's conversation. Uh, I mean, I, I honestly think Minnesota is the worst of the three and O teams. But they got to quality. Wins, uh, I think the worst of the three and O teams is the team that EJ has at number one. But I think the Vikings have <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but Jim, as you already know, yeah, you're. Thank you. I mean, Seattle. 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 Sorry, I didn't mean to talk over the sound. I mean, I think, I think, I think Seattle and Pittsburgh's three and O's are 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 similar. Very uh, similar. Correct. Uh, you know, the 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 Seahawks have a 26-20 win over Denver, they yep. have a 23-20 win over New England, and they 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 beat the doors off of a, a depleted Dolphin team. Um, so I, I think I think they are very similar. Honestly, it, it probably would I'd probably actually like to put the Texans probably back above um the, the Seahawks the more I'm thinking about it. Um, because I I just I, I'm not I yeah, I'm not sold on either of them. Um, at three and zero, I, I mean, this week was the Steelers' best game, and and I think Justin Fields is starting to settle into that offense. Sorry, to, sorry to say, Russell Wilson, but it's over. Um, <laughs> right. but, uh, before it even started, um, because because I think this this team is starting to gel around him. Um, yeah. You know, obviously, uh, we're, we're going to find out more about them as they get into some of those harder games. Um, it's not necessarily a a flight on the Steelers. It's just you know you you've you beat teams that either and same with Seattle either aren't good or, or were injury depleted. Well, I, I put more stock in the Steelers three you know than the Steelers because I mean I guess the Chargers. I, I mean I'm a little higher than Chargers most on, on this panel. Yeah, so I, I put well, I put more stock in the Steelers three you know more than the uh, than the uh, the fucking the Seahawks. Uh, okay, and, and, and and to boot also too, they, they were playing a team last year. They were playing a team the year before. So this is kind of what they again. do anyway. Three you know is kind of a shock. My calm down a second. Three and kind of a shot. Oh, yeah. here we go again with it, it. It's three years ago. It's there's a whole new quarterback. It's half of a new offense. Yeah, but it's it's, a, it's but it's the same culture that Mike Thomas put together for years. I mean, it, it fits. I'm not saying they're they're a great team. Smoke attend all this stuff, but championship pedigree. Hold on, hold on. Who I mean, who they beat? Who they beaten again? Let, let, let's run this through. They beat the Broncos. One, in, they beat one and two they, Denver, two and one Chargers, and who was the third team? They beat Broncos. the Broncos. No, who was that? What are you talking about? The Steelers? The Falcons. The Falcons. And they beat Falcons. the what? So, so the combined record of the teams that they've played are four and f- six. Uh, and they've no. scored yes, 20 points them. max. But the Falcons should have beaten the Chiefs, according to a lot of people. Right. I, I'm just, uh, what, what, I, what I'm getting at here is, what is, what is it that you're telling me that Pittsburgh does that's leaps and bounds better than what Seattle is doing. I didn't say that you missed well, that point. I, I, I didn't. I, I didn't say bounds. I, all I said was you I, was put more, I, I put more, more, little, little more stock into Seattle, the, to the Pittsburgh three and than Seattle. That's all. For what reason? Sell me Tom, the reason. Tomlin, I guess, is the reason. Tomlin's one of the starters. Fair. Um, I, I like their yeah. team overall Tom. better than theirs, and 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 they have the one of the two two teams that have the one quality win of the of the two teams against the Chargers. That's all, but so, but 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 but, but that's a game of inches, though. So it's, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, make a big deal about whether you have Seattle or Pittsburgh. I'm just saying that. If, hey, give me my, give I'm pretty me, sure you're me. both just making the fight that both are mediocre and one of. Yeah, them I, I don't. That, yeah. That, 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 that both are. We we still need to see a hell of a lot more from right. these three and O teams. But the Steelers have done this a couple of years now. They always seem to come out of nowhere and and shock the world. And and and, and, to, and to be to be fair, um, they do it I, every I think, year. How's it shocking the world? This, yeah. Both of those teams on mine, I, in a perfect world, have the Eagles, Lions, and Texans above both the Seahawks and the Steelers. Correct. But I have I have uh, asterisks next to 
both Philly and Detroit uh, because they're both um, – now, Detroit's injuries are more on the defensive side of the ball, like I said. Yep. We have a Laporta possibly injury. There's some question marks there. I, I don't know that Goff has looked completely himself. So there's some question marks that, that I have uh, for them. And for Philly, it's the injury bug. It's, it's you know – it's a handful of guys that it may or may not play. It's AJ Brown, it's Devontae mm-hmm. Smith in a protocol. Uh, we, you know, you just you started falling in love with with a, a tiny white slot receiver, and now he's on injured reserve. Uh, Darius Slay, hopefully that's not lingering. And so the, there's a lot of injury risks for Philly. I would have loved to throw Philly in at like four, but I I couldn't I, because I, I, I don't know where they are. Yeah, I almost you know? did. And and I did the same I think at the bottom where I. Even though the doll, I, I don't want to take an injured team and throw it down there and be like, because I know that if they just throw any other quarterback in there that I have any faith in, I'm like, okay, well now I'm starting to buy him a little more. And, you know, if the running backs are healthy, I'm starting to buy him a little more. Um, but, but I think here, there's a lot of one loss teams that I think are better than those two undefeated teams. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I, um, I, I, but I they won like their games, so I'm, I'm giving them some credit for that for now. I will say this about the Steelers. They don't have the worst point differential for undefeated teams. That would be the Kansas City Chiefs. At plus Correct. Three. The best team in football, baby. <laughs> right. Championship pedigree. Same name of the episode. Well, they're starting Allegedly. Every week. It's going to help. Um, yeah, something like that. Um, any uh, Anything else we want to hit from the uh... – I don't see anything else egregious really here, honestly. No, I mean, I'm glad to see I, enough I, of us had the Saints hanging yeah. there. I'm glad to see that. I think that they've done enough to show that. I mean, I mean, here's that's a thing. lot of points, and they played good defense against, you know, even against Philadelphia. I thought they played pretty good defensive football, despite being sold to me as an offensive team. So uh, I, I, I think. Like I, I think the big. I think the big <laughs> point is that at, at three weeks into the season, um, there's there's still a shitload more that we don't know about most teams in this league. We could all have um, six teams in our top ten that aren't there at the end of the year. So, yeah. So you know, in a year, trying there's, there's going to be a lot of things that change in um, a year, the next week or two, probably. As, <laughs> Shit. Uh, as, as as this uh, as this year goes on. So, um, uh, any 